I think you guys are all pretty much as excited as I am. The Buell High Performance Club Style Cruiser, a modern take on the FXR with a lot of modern, like my 2020 Lowrider S. I think this should have been the bike that Harley Davidson should have built. to the video guys and in today's video we're going to be talking about obviously the brand new Buell high performance club style cruiser right here wow um yes i it, it took me some time to do this video i kind of wanted to digest everything i've been bombarded with dms of everyone talking about the bike and sending me pictures and i just didn't want to come out right off the bat just and and, and make a video on it i kind of want to see what everyone thought about it first Usually I like to hop on things right away as they come out, but I kind of wanted to take the backseat on this one, get everyone's reaction, uh, and and see what they thought about it. I also wanted to know a little bit more about the bike as these last uh, week or two have passed by. We've learned a little bit more about it, um, but I am really, really happy that this is happening. Buell and Roland Sands coming together to build what seems to be a modern day FXR. Uh, with all the components that the younger riders right now are craving for, um, which is a cruiser, a high-performance cruiser, um, that looks cool. And you're not going to just give me a high-performance cruiser and leave out the looks or leave out certain things. This bike seems to come with all the bells and whistles. But that being said, this is a concept bike. So will this bike look exactly the way it looks right here in these videos and pictures? I, I mean, I have my doubts and my concerns, so no, I don't think it'll be, it'll look just like that. But this concept uh, is kind of showing us exactly where this bike could head towards, and I, I'm, I'm excited for it, man. Let's talk about all the details and everything we know about the bike thus far. So this bike is basically a sport bike inside of a cruiser, what seems to be an FXR frame, pushing out 180 horsepower, and the bike is only weighing at 450 pounds, which is... Wow, for so, uh, a, a bike like that, a cruiser weighing so little and dishing out so much horsepower from stock is, is wow. So the engine is a brand new Buell engine that they have come out with as well. And pretty much all the components on the bike are all Buell components when Roland Sands and Buell came together. The new owner of Buell pretty much said here, use all the Buell components we have, put the bike together, design it to your liking, and let's see where it goes. Um, from what we heard so much, Roland Sands just came out with one sketch, uh, Buell approved it. So on this bike, you're going to have Buell suspension, uh, Buell swing arm, uh, rear wheel and brakes as well. Stock Buell front fender, which uh, seems to be a carbon fender as well. Uh, triple clamp, uh, Buell calipers. Um, it is in a FXR body uh, slash frame. Um, it is a water-cooled superbike motor, and it's also going to come with that nice aluminum radiator in the front. I really like the way they kind of designed that radiator to go down the front of the frame. Um, it, it doesn't look out of place. It's not square. It, it doesn't look ugly. Like, it actually looks pretty, pretty cool. So, the designers did a really good job in kind of hiding that, but at the same time making it pop out. Right in the front, you're gonna have GP suspension and the forks, which are gonna be adjustable. Um, that TFT screen, which we're pretty much seeing on a lot of bikes now. A lot of these companies now are doing these TFT screens, and it looks pretty cool. And one component I saw in the front was that Memphis Shades fairing in the front, which looks really, really cool. Giving the bike a nice little subtle, but club style look. It looks very aggressive, it looks very cool. Now, the exhaust, let's talk about that real quick. The exhaust is a four into two, into one and from the videos that i've seen it sounds badass it looks super cool on it i really wish i could hear that thing in person because from the videos it's like wow and you guys don't like anything in videos doesn't do uh the sound any justice like it just damn it i want it i want to see that bike in person now let's talk about the the big uh perimeter brakes in the front that we see those things are huge it basically takes up the whole wheel that's something that buell also makes um, that they wanted to really have on this bike as well. Um, but it looks badass, super cool, and from the feedback that we're seeing in the videos, supposedly it has a lot of bite. Now, from everything that we have learned so far about the bike, you're gonna have that GP front suspension in the front, you're gonna have that mono shock in the back that goes right into the frame. Um, you could 
probably know that this bike is gonna handle really, really well. We also did see a little clip of a front dampener in the front, which is also gonna help with handling. I think handling performance kinda come neck and neck when it comes to this bike right here. I think it's one of the things that they were kinda trying to mesh the most because from what I was saying before, the younger cruiser crowd right now, what they want is a fun cruiser. Something that's gonna have a lot of performance, something that's gonna handle right, um, something that's gonna be packed with a bunch of cool technology. And I think what Roland Sand and Buell did right here kinda cemented all that together. Um, and this is basically, and, and I don't know, if you guys think I'm wrong, you might butcher me right now, but I think this is the bike right here that the clientele has been asking Harley Davidson to build for the past five-ish years or so think this is the bike that that should have been the the new Sportster S um, maybe the new Sportster like this is what the new Sportster should have been in my opinion now I'll take that with a grain of salt these are only my thoughts and stuff so let me know what you think now we are in 2023 this bike is set to release in 2025 now you hear what I said predict we're talking about a brand new bike that has not hit the market yet. So we have two years to see if this bike will hit the market in 2025 or if it might take a little bit longer than that. Now the magical question as well, what is this bike going to cost? Now this bike, they're estimated to be in the $20,000 mark and upwards of that. So yeah, that that's like another concern that I have right now at the moment is like, all right, well, if they outprice themselves, they might miss the mark. They're really gonna have to price this bike at a good range where it's gonna compete with Harley Davidson or compete with something that Indian has or any other performance cruises out there, which are not that many. Now, a lot of people have hit me up in my DMs already and they told me that they already had deposited the $50 deposit that you gotta put down in order to reserve a spot uh, to order the bike and it's not one or two, it's more than 10 people have DM me telling me the same thing. So, I mean, obviously this bike is causing uh, a lot of trash right now. Now, what I don't know if the $50 is refundable or not, I kind of didn't read into that, but um, yeah, I mean, if the bike gets made cool, if it doesn't, then I mean, yeah. Now, let's talk about some concerns that I have as well. Um, this is a concept bike right here, so which means that if this bike does come into market, it's not gonna look just like what you see here. Hopefully it, it does look very close to it, but for the most part, if you guys are familiar with concepts, concepts are just a big idea. They take the sketch from it and then they'll deliver. Um, Harley Davidson did that with the uh, Sportster S. Their concept was pretty much 100% on with what uh, the bike that hit the market was and they, they did a really good job with that. Um, but with all the components that this bike has on it and everything that they did, I, I highly doubt it's gonna look close or near to that, but we'll have to see. Another thing is that you're able to order the bike, the bike's gonna be delivered to your home. Um, that's, it's, and, it, and that's awesome, but um, when it comes to dealer networks, um, you can't just say, hey, I'm going to the Buell dealership right now and get my bike fixed or go pick up my bike or whatever it is. They don't have that yet, so. Um, that's, I mean, to me, me buying, uh, let's say a 20 plus thousand bike and not having a place to go to if something will happen to it, like an official Buell dealership, um, around me, that's a bit concerning. Another concern is that they also have a brand new motor in that bike. So we don't know yet if, if or what is wrong with that motor. They still gotta knock out little kinks. We all know every time uh, new products are brought out, there's there's little kinks that they still gotta brush through as time goes by. So, I mean, that's another concern for me. And then lastly, the price. Um, like I was mentioning before, I hope they don't make this bike too expensive or out of the reach of the clientele that they're trying to reach. So the demographics that they're trying to reach with this bike is a younger, person um, who wants performance, who wants to look cool, who wants a badass bike. And if you bring a bike to the market that's gonna be out of their reach financially, that might hurt sales in the long run. 
or the actual demographic that you're trying to approach. Anyways, that was my little take on what could be the brand new Buell high performance bike. I am super excited for this bike. I want this bike, yes. I'll tell you right now, I want this bike. I don't think I've ever wanted a bike so bad since like my low rider S came out and I'm excited for this. I think this is good for the market. I think this is good competition. Um, I don't think any bad could come out of this. It's awesome that other companies are now, you know, building more cruisers and they're adding more to the platform, man. Competition will bring the best out of anyone that's in that circle. And at the end of the day, the only people winning will be us, the consumers. So um, yeah, drop your thoughts and your comments down below. I'm very eager to know. I wanna go into these comments right now as soon as the video is posted and I wanna interact with you guys real quick. Let's talk about what you like about the bike, what you don't like about the bike. Do you really think it's gonna be coming out in 2025 or not? And do you think that this is the bike that Harley Davidson should have built? With that being said, I'm gonna get you in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe, enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.